Mike, thanks very much indeed. Now then, love it or hate it, come this summer, visit Liverpool, you won't be able to miss one of these bad boys. The Go Super Lamb Banana Festival is going to be one of the highlights of the Capital of Culture calendar. Yes, more than 100 versions will be popping up all around Liverpool in lots of different disguises. Well, tonight, we're giving you the chance to design your own, and the winner will appear on the streets this summer. With the details, here's our Capital of Culture correspondent, Andy Bonner. OK, so you'll never get a super lamb banana as a pet, but you could soon have the next best thing, and that's to design your own. This June, hundreds of these two-metre-tall versions will descend on Liverpool, each with their own distinctive personality. And we want you to come up with a design for the Granada Lamb Banana. It should tell us what you love about Granada Land. That could be something about a local landmark, a pastime, or a tribute to your favourite regional news reporter. Or maybe not. We'll use the best idea we receive for our final design. The winner will then work for a day in our studios with Liverpool artist Mike Badger, who will interpret your design. I'm very excited. You know, it's become a very um, iconic sculpture in part of Liverpool, hasn't it? The Superland Banana. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing the entrance um, work and um, seeing what, what to come up with. Whatever the concept, we need your designs by midnight on May the 2nd. Now, you can download an ideas sheet or you can use your own. The judges will be looking for originality, creativity and imagination. They'll also be looking for the idea which best fits the brief, I Love Granada Land. Then, just send your designs to Superland Banana, ITV Granada, Key Street, Manchester M60 9EA. Don't forget to put your name and daytime phone number on the reverse. Terms and conditions are on our website, and if you're under 18, you'll need permission from a parent or guardian. Owen, oh, good luck. Hey, boy. Come on, boy. Andy Bonner, Granada Reports, Liverpool. How on earth oh. did he do that? You love that report, <laughs> don't you? Uh, and a reminder that if you want to download an idea sheet for the I Love Granada Land Super Lamb Banana competition, then all the details are on our website, www.itvlocal.com forward slash Granada. Now, weather on the way, but before that, some wintry scenes from you. Yes, many thanks to all of you for your pictures of our bizarre spring weather. Here are just a few of them. The end of tonight's programme. Now, cross a banana with a lamb, stay with me here, and you get a piece of public art which you either love or are left slightly puzzled by. Thankfully, ten years after it first appeared in Liverpool, love has won out for the super lamb banana. Yeah, and it's a good job too, because the now famous yellow sculpture has spawned more than a hundred little versions of itself, each sporting a unique new design, including one dreamt up by a Granada Reports viewer. Our Capital of Culture correspondent, Andy Bonner, has been going super lamb bananas. They are everywhere. With hundreds of different designs, some of them are quite serious. And some of them are funny. And here at Liverpool's Met Quarter, we've got our very own Granada Super Lamb Banana. And what a journey it's been to get here. Yes, we asked you to come up with designs reflecting why you love Granada Land. We had hundreds of entries before we invited winner Laura McCreesh to come into our studios to work with an artist to turn her crayon designs into reality. It's certainly a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I just think it's brilliant though, and I think the designs look great on it. The illustrations are so delicate and the, the nice pastel shades and everything, and it's not really um, very commonly used crayons. You don't really see a lot of um, artwork which is done in crayons in public places. I'm glad that we've decided to be true to the original artwork. 
Today, Laura and Mike's work went on show as part of the Go Superland Bananas Festival. More than 100 weird and wonderful designs from local artists and community groups can now be seen across Merseyside. Among the ideas, the Push Me, Pull You, and recognise this guy, it's Rafa Barnitez. People start to talk about them to each other. You know, we have people, older people, talking to young rockers this morning about, do you like that one? No, I'm not sure about that one. Or, have you seen the one down the road there? And it's just about that whole sense of participation. The great thing about the Superlands is a sort of half lamb, half banana can only be in Liverpool, really. And it combines you know, creativity and humour, two things people know about Liverpool. Uh, so I think there's a real Liverpool flavour to this stuff, but, but certainly interest. I mean, we're expecting visitors nationally and internationally coming to see this. Already, people armed with trail maps are trying to track down each one, and people are now herding to our little lammy. I think it's really good showing like pictures of the region. Oh, I like it because it's like got everything from Liverpool and around this area on it. I just like the hearts around the pictures. People have been looking at it and you know because it is small pictures they've been drawn in to have the closer look I think which that's just great. There's another Granada Reports Lamb Banana in Liverpool want to see if you can spot your hometown in the writing. And you've got ten weeks to spot all the artwork before it's auctioned off. Let's just hope no one gets fleeced. Andy Bonner, Granada Reports, Liverpool. Yeah, wonderful. And if you fancy heading out and tracking down some of those mini Superland bananas, we have the full list of where they all are on our website at itvlocal.com forward slash Granada. And well done to Laura and Mike and everyone else who's done those Superland bananas. They look yeah, fantastic. Yeah, they are stunning.